Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Full Media Part 11, Focus, Part 2. In today's episode, we continued what we had been starting in the last stream. We were adding what we call de facto chords, cadences, and intervals to Snippet 03, which is the Raga theme and the Sight theme. And we had overlaid them against each other like this. And we started the same theme down here one bar later. Da, 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 and again. And again. And we had realized that if you look where they overlay each other, you get intervals and you get chords. Like that. So we finished identifying what those intervals and chords were. Then we went and looked at our re reference area and we realized that we had identified two new chords that were not already listed A flat 1 3, A flat 1 4, and there they are. And we went and figured out that these were ambivalent chords. So we then figured out the energy story of this sequence is active, non, clash, urge, clash, urge, clash, urge, and all the way till it comes to a rest. So that's what this sounds like. So that was pretty cool. The second thing we realized was that if we looked at what we had done, we had projected or collapsed all of these five lines down under the sixth line. In other words, if we played these top five lines, they could all be replaced by this one line down here. And we said, aha, constructing the de facto cadences and intervals replaces the multiple overlay lines with one net line. We have got ourselves a new compositional technique. So then we continued, and this was the Raga theme overlaid by itself. So now we took the Sight theme overlaid on itself, deferred by one bar, and again. And because it had five bars, we had to duplicate it five times, and we carried down. And this time we got an interesting little variation. Not just three, but four notes are being collapsed down. And we don't have a, a labeling system for tetrachords, so we just call them new one, two, three, four. But nevertheless, we were able to go through and identify all the de facto chords, like a G31, which is a dominant and has no mode and an active note. We also found that we had a G23, but guess what? We already had figured that out, so we, we knew that that was a subdominant. So we were also able here to do the same thing, replace, in this case, five lines with one line all, all the way at the bottom, and figure out the energy. Rest, active, rest, uh, urge, drift, uh, clash, 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 urge. <laughs> this is a less restful sequence. So that was kind of neat. And ideas for next time, we want to continue adding the de facto cadences and intervals and analyzing their energy patterns because we've got more Oh, I forgot. It's amb Actually, it ends on a nice rest note, so there we go. That's good. Here's, an, here's where we put the Raka and the Sight on top of, uh, staggered with each other, and then um, another one here. So we need to add those uh, de facto chords right here. They need to be added. 
So we will what we'll do to kind of wrap up is we'll play we'll play these things again and we'll play them where we're soloing the last line. This is the Raga theme overlaid against itself, followed by the site theme overlaid against itself. And we're replacing basically five lines of, of notes with one line that we could carry forward into a new score and composition. So let's hear what this sounds like. So we feel very encouraged and we had some more ideas listening uh, of how to carry things forward into new standalone pieces. And basically four, five, and six are all going to be carried forward. And so for that matter is 03. Thank you for your time and attention, interest, curiosity, and patience, probably above all things. Look forward to seeing you in the next episode. And as always, keep on streaming. <laughs>